Hi, my name is Andrew Swan from the Animal Genetics and Breeding Unit. As part of our videos on helping you better understand your analysis, we're now going to talk about accuracies, what they are and why we care about them. The breeding values calculated in genetic evaluations are estimates of the true breeding value of an animal, and the accuracy of these estimates varies depending on how much information we have available. With more information, the accuracy of the breeding value increases, and we can make better selection decisions, leading to faster rates of genetic gain. All breeding values coming out of breed plan and sheep genetics come with accuracy figures which range from 0 to 100%. As the accuracy approaches the maximum of 100, we can be very confident that we know the true breeding value of an animal. At lower levels of accuracy, however, the estimated and true breeding values potentially differ quite widely. In fact, the percentage accuracy represents a confidence limited or expected change that could occur when more information becomes available. And we become more confident that the estimate is close to the true breeding value. Some of the sources of information which can improve accuracy have been covered in previous video videos. Firstly, we can record the phenotypic performance of an animal itself, and if the heritability of the trait is high, then the accuracy from this source will also be high. An example is wool fibre diameter in sheep, which is highly heritable, and an animal's own performance can result in an accurate breeding value. Secondly, if we know sire and dam pedigree across generations, we can use information from relatives to increase accuracy, for example from records on half-sib brothers and sisters, or from a sire progeny test. This is especially useful for traits with low heritability. Thirdly, we can increase accuracy by measuring correlated traits, for example eye muscle area measured using ultrasound scanning in live animals is strongly correlated with carcass eye muscle area. And finally, the availability of genomic tests coupled with the development of reference population has been a game changer in terms of increasing the accuracy of breeding values early in life. For example, reproduction traits are usually lowly heritable and can only be recorded on breeding females after the main selection point. Accuracy for reproduction traits in young bulls or rams can be increased substantially by genomic testing supported by an effective reference population. So what are the, some of the practical implications of accuracy in breeding programs? By selecting highly accurate sires, the performance of the next generation will be more predictable, but traditionally high accuracy has been achieved through progeny testing, which takes time, resulting in longer generation intervals, which limit the rate of annual gain. On the other hand, when we are making genetic gain, the current generation will have the highest genetic merit, but because accuracy is lower for young animals, it is more difficult to identify superior individuals for selection. However, when selecting a team of young males, the accuracy of the group as a whole is higher than the accuracy of the individuals within the group. And while this can result in greater variation in the next generation, genetic gain and diversity can benefit. And as we've already discussed, the accuracy of young animals can be substantially lifted through genomic testing, supporting by effective reference populations, as we can see in this figure. To summarise the key messages, accuracy measures, uh, accuracies measure how close estimated breeding values are likely to be to true breeding values. Higher accuracy can lead to increased genetic gain, and genomic testing results in higher accuracy at young ages, especially for hard to measure traits.